Today's review is from the Transformers Studio Series Movie 86 line and it is the third Dinobot in the line that we've got which gives me such good hope that we're going to get them all finally in one line and this one of course is the Dinobot Sludge which is a kind of, he's a Diplodocus or a Brachiosaur I can't think of the exact name for it but uh, this guy looks massive I thought the box would actually be bigger for him but um, he is quite cool and I'm looking the, again we are faced with artwork now no no clear plastic to see what the figure looks like inside unfortunately I would like to have seen this guy but uh, what can you do this is the new thing going forward anyway so we have to get used to it on other lines too and I know lots of fandoms are unhappy with this but anyway guys let's check out that brand new box so let's check it out first first things first as I said earlier this is another one of these figures that no longer has uh, the plastic along here it is replaced by this artwork now I will say looking at this artwork it is absolutely beautiful it is from the 86 movie and it is sludge more or less torching these poor unfortunate shark shark decons and there is a bunch of them actually there's like 10 of those guys and it is really really nice it is an absolutely lovely picture and accurately captures what's one of my favorite parts of that movie where he comes in and knocks down the door on top of the i can't think of what they were but the judgment guys uh yeah so on the side you've got this other picture of sludge the more close-up picture it's really nice and on the back you've got this big screen inspired scale detailed backdrop sludge and you have him in robot mode here and dino mode here and of course he does come with that diorama which i probably won't use uh dino dinobot sludge breaks down the courtroom door and crashes the quintesson there's the word quintesson i couldn't think of it crashes the quintesson trial 31 steps back and forth you've got some legalese here and on the other side same picture on the top you've got the transformers the movie logo and on the bottom you've got some more legalese so as beautiful as this picture is let's take the figure out of the box and make sure he's all okay because that is the most important part unless you're a mint on card collector in which case you can't see the figure anymore so i don't know what to say to that so let's get him out of the box so here is the studio series sludge dinobot out of the box and i have to say he looks absolutely massive he looks great and the Dinobots are really coming together nicely as you can see there's a nice like red and a nice red black and grey all across him you've got all like the little detail this guy is really really cool I do like that kind of staunch face sculpt if you can see it there let's get some light on the equation he looks really really cool another Dinobot in the collection now he does come with one gun unfortunately that is all he comes with and um, it's just kind of unfortunate it is a cool load of nice like gold spots and stuff on it and it's more like a cannon than a gun and it's really really nice he does usually as all transformers he does come with instructions which i am terrible at reading but fortunately there's always great youtube guides out there and I will follow those to transform him into his Diplodocus mode, or is it a Brachiosaur? I'm not sure. It's a dino, dinosaur of some kind, anyway. Height-wise, he's really, really good. They have gotten some good size on these, thankfully. And of course, he does come with this from the movie. Let's move that back here. This is where he like burst down the door and stood on the Quintesson, as I said previously. I don't use these so this will be going back in its box for later or whenever so let's have a look let's do a little comparison for a sec while we've got him out here now what i do have quite handily next to me on the shelf is his best buddy here is grimlock so as you can see they do kind of work work together well uh just to give you a bit more here is a six inch figure just to show you how actually tall these guys are they are quite tall so let's get Grimlock out of there for a second and we'll go back to the main man himself 
So articulation wise, you've got some movement on the head. It does go full rotation. Looks up, looks down. There is no little bit of wiggle. Arms, the arms go that far. They do go out and move around at that. There is a bicep swivel as well, as well as an elbow joint. Hands don't move. They move around in circles. It's all very tight. There is a waist swivel. He can kick up this far. He does a knee joint too. He can go out and do the splits. And the foot can go like that. So there is a lot of movement in the legs. So I've messed around with this mode for too long. Let us go on to the dino mode. So there we have Sludge transformed into his dino mode and this is forever where he will stay in my collection as I absolutely love the Dinobots in dinosaur mode uh, as a child like most kids I suppose I was absolutely obsessed with dinosaurs and Jurassic Park and the Dinobots were top of my list for most things as I was growing up but uh, this one is really really cool um, I want to say this is the gun that I originally showed. There's two different spaces you can put this one. Now it's kind of up. It's obviously up to you where you want to go with it. But uh, there is a peg right here on the back leg that you can just. If I can just do this now, it goes on there for a cool, like kind of dino ridery feel or something. That looks really cool. On there, it would be actually awesome if, if you had two, one for either side, but unfortunately you can only have one. If you don't fancy that and you want to have him store it like where you can't see it, you can put it under here as well, right underneath. There is pegs back here, I'm told. I'm not told, I know, but these two pegs here will plug into the back. And of course there is only one way you can do it. Because the other way doesn't fit and that fits on there so you don't even like see it it's really cool though now next on this figure i want to say like all the little details and rivets and stuff are really really nice on this figure and you don't really feel the weight of him when he's actually in dinosaur mode and there's a nice hollow bit here some people will probably give out about that but i don't i, I don't care you can't see it anyway when you have him in this mode and there is, I really like him, the cool little auto body insignia on his forehead as well, that you can see there. And overall, he's just a fantastic piece. Now, what I want to do before I go any further on this review is I'm going to just show you him next to the other released Dinobots so far. I didn't do it with the other ones, but when in robot mode, but here he is next to Slag. I'm not calling him Slug because Slag is his real name. And here he is next to Grimlock. So that's the three ones we've gotten so far and I'm really happy with them so far. They have been absolutely fantastic. A great team to start combining. And I'm gonna take them back out now because I wanna show you some of the detail on this figure before I go any further. And um, on the head, you've got this cool like Autobot insignia. Let's shine the torch there on that, the light. And he's got some cool, now, this is, when we get to articulation, I'll talk about this. You've got some cool uh, blue eyes there. The mouth, you can open. And yeah, so there is like really, really lovely work on there. And just to go and just fill off. So let's go talk about articulation for a second. Now this is a, a sort of annoying for me. The head, which is part of the transformation, does fall down when you go, when you, there is articulation here at the neck. We can do it with two hands and it really works. So you can even get him like as if he's, again, that's not supposed to happen. You can get him as if he's taking a drink or having whatever. And it does work pretty good. Cool. Now in here, the mouth does open. There is a peg for a flame, which I feel they should have added, they should have added it on him because it is on the box art as well. And they haven't added it. The head does go up further. It does articulate up further as well, so you can have him look right up into the clouds, which is really cool. Legs do move as well. 
and the feet do move as well i love this with the back legs it looks like you can have him taken taking a piss here which is really really cool <laughs> i'm so childish i know get over <laughs> his knee does articulate there as well and same with the other one now the tail does not move that's fine you don't need it to move really but uh yeah on the whole guys i'm really really delighted with this figure and uh, another worthy addition to the 86 line so do stay along for pictures and stuff which i'll have coming soon and i hope you enjoyed this review this has been my this has been my studio series 86 sludge review and i can't wait to finish the dinobots they've been awesome so far so we'll see you later guys have a great day bye